Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make your own custom snow globe containing an object of your choice and in my next tutorial animate the snowflakes. We'll start with a document that's 1000 by 1000 pixels and a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Double click on the background layer and we'll type in globe. If your foreground color isn't already black, press the letter D. To fill the layer with black, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Make the brightness 75% and the lens type 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Polar Coordinates. Check Polar to Rectangular. Go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. Then press Enter or Return to accept the transform. Go back to Polar Coordinates again, and this time click Rectangular to Polar. Call up your elliptical marquee tool, and click on the upper left corner and drag out a circle to the lower right corner. Let's save the selection. Go to Select, Save Selection, and we'll type in Globe. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Hide the bottom layer by clicking off its eyeball. Go to the New Layer icon and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This makes a new layer directly below the active layer. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with the foreground color which is black. Click on the Channels tab and click on the circular icon on the lower left. This will create a selection of all the tonal values of the image. Click on the Layers tab and make the top layer active. Click on the New Layer icon. We'll fill this selection with white, and since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. To make the white in the selection more intense, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete again. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus D. Let's rename this layer Highlights. We'll trash the globe layers since we don't need them anymore. Let's give our globe some room. Go to Image and Canvas Size. We'll change the inches to pixels and the width 2000 and the height 1250. We'll fill the excess background with black and to see the entire image on our screen press Ctrl or Command 0. We're ready to place an object inside the snow globe. For this example, I'm choosing this house. Whatever object you choose, you'll need to cut it out from its background and move it to your snow globe document. To save time, I already made a selection of the house. Once you have the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut it out from the image and copy it to its own layer. To move it into the snow globe document, press Ctrl or Command plus A to select it and Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. We'll open the snow globe document and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it into it. To resize it, press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up the Transform tool and go to a corner, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in. To reposition it, click inside the Transform and move it. Since the globe highlight is on the left and the house highlights are on the right, I'm going to flip the house horizontally. I'll go to Edit, Transform and Flip Horizontal. Since the house is inside a glass globe, let's give it some optical distortion. I found the best filter to use for this isn't spherize nor pinch, it's lens correction. After the lens correction window opens, click Custom, and I'm using minus 40 for remove distortion. Depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your object, you may want to adjust this number. Call up your Transform tool to resize and reposition it. Open the Channels panel and go to the Globe channel and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This will call up its selection. Open the Layers panel 
and click on the layer mask icon. This will create a layer mask next to the active layer. Let's double the strength of our globe highlights. Click on the highlights layer to make it active and then make a copy. To merge the two highlights layers, press Ctrl or Command plus E. We're ready to make the base of our snow globe. Make a new layer and call up the rectangular marquee tool. Drag a horizontal rectangle across the bottom of the globe. Click on the foreground color and choose a dark brown. I'm choosing 3A1D06. Fill it with that color and press X to invert the foreground and background colors. Click on the foreground color and choose a lighter brown. I'm using 90562A. Go to Filter, Render, and Fibers. I'm using 16 for the variance and 4 for the strength. Click on the layer mask icon, which makes a layer mask next to the active layer. Click off the chain link and click on the layer to make it active. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. We'll make the angle 0 and the distance 75. Press D to make the foreground black and the background white and X to invert them. Call up your brush tool and change the blend mode to color dodge. Change the opacity to 40 percent. To make your brush size larger or smaller press the right or left bracket keys. Brush down on the left and right middle areas to create highlights. Click on the double curved arrow or press the letter X to invert the colors. Change the blend mode to linear burn and the opacity to 10 percent. Brush down the middle to give it a dark reflection, so now we have a copper metallic looking material. The motion blur we gave it earlier left some translucent areas at the top corners. We'll correct them by duplicating the layer a few times and then merging them together. You'll see this window each time you press Ctrl or Command plus E to merge them together. Click Apply each time. Now we have a perfectly opaque base. Make a copy of the base and call up the Transform tool. Go to Edit, Transform and Perspective. Go to a bottom corner and drag out. Both bottom corners move out the same distance at the same time. Then press Enter or Return. Click on it, hold Shift and drag straight down. Click on the FX icon and choose Drop Shadow. Make the opacity 70 percent and rotate the angle down. Change the blend mode to soft light. Let's group the two base layers together. With the top layer active, go to the other base layer and press and hold Shift as you click on it. Then press Ctrl or Command plus G to group them in its own folder. We'll rename the folder Base. Objects inside snow globes are often a bit darker at their bottoms, so I'll click on my object and call up my brush tool. I'll use Linear Burn for the mode at a 40% opacity. I'll brush across the bottom once. Go to the circular layer mask and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it to call up its selection. Then open your base folder and go to the part of the base that borders the globe. Press Ctrl plus Alt or Command plus Option as you click on it. This will subtract the base shape from the circle. We'll close up the base folder and click on the new layer icon. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the empty layer. Click off the chain link and click on the empty layer to make it active. In this layer we'll create our snowflakes. Fill it with black and go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. The amount is 100% and Gaussian and monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by one pixel. Press Ctrl or Command plus L to call up your Levels window. We'll make the input shadows to 120 and the input highlights 165. 
Change the blend mode to screen. We're ready to call up our background. I'm using this image since the snow globe looks great when it's perched atop a holiday mantle. This particular image contains both Christmas and Halloween elements, but it looks festive nevertheless. We need to get it into our snow globe document. Press Ctrl or Command plus A to select it, and then Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. Open up the snow globe document and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it into it. Click and drag down the layer above the black background. We need to move up the entire globe so it sits right on the ledge. Click back on the chain link and click on the layer to make it active. Go to your object layer, press shift and click on it. This will highlight all the layers in between. I'll click on the globe and move it so it sits nicely on the ledge. Let's give the glass of the globe some thickness. Click on the top layer to make this the only active layer and click off the chain link. Click on the house layer to make it active and call up your transform tool. Press shift and alt or shift and option and drag in. I want to move it to the right a little bit to center it so I'll press the right arrow key on my keyboard. Then press enter or return. So now we have our own custom made festive holiday snow globe filled with gentle snowflakes. In my next tutorial I'll show you how to make a basic animation of the snowflakes. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.